everyone and welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing my paycheck to budget along with my cashless cash envelope stuffing and sinking funds so let's just jump right on into it if you are new to my channel my name is Janelle and I do all things budgeting and I also include workweek lunches, grocery hauls, and meal planning. So if that is something that you're interested in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So I'm going to take these out and... Okay, I was like, wait, this sheet looks so weird, duh, you know, because it's blank. Okay, so I am going to zoom in just a little bit for you guys so you guys can see the numbers better. So this paycheck... Um, is going to be from 1126 to December 9th because I get paid on the 10th next. And then I am budgeting that my main income, oops, main income is going to be $1,198.76. I'll have a rollover of about $20 these were just estimates you guys uh, my commission is going to be an estimate of 400 and i always lowball myself because i rather do that than um think i'm gonna get more and then i don't and my total comes out to 16 18 76. so this is just what i'm working with in terms of my budget for expenses i have a rollover and I'm budgeting $197. And then I have my Capital One Auto, which I am budgeting $500. Did I did I say $500 for this too? I mean $197, if I did not say that. Um, and then my Capital One, which is at $500. And that's all that I budgeted for, which is $697. And then we have my cashless cash envelopes. So for those envelopes, I have groceries, gas, household, personal, and miscellaneous. And my miscellaneous and personal are different different because personal is something that um, I take care of probably like every two weeks. It's for my hair, it's for my nails, any personal like items for me as a woman. And then miscellaneous is just like random things that I can do for anything such as buying something for my apartment or for our new home or for my partner or extra food or snacks or anything like that. So this is why they're separate and not put together in case anybody was wondering. And I am budgeting $80 for groceries, $30 for gas, household nothing, personal is getting 50 and then miscellaneous is getting 10 and that brings me to $170. And then over here for savings, I have my emergency fund that I'm budgeting $10 and then we have my regular savings at 15 and that gives me a total of $25. And then, excuse me if you heard that, um, <laughs> for my sinking funds, I have my car fund, which is just really getting the bare minimum at a dollar. And then I have my car insurance, which is getting $4. We have car maintenance, which is at $15. We have clothes, which is at $10 we'll have fun which i'm only putting five dollars in right now but it will go up for the new year health is at twenty dollars and we have holidays at fifteen dollars we have home which is getting $475. And if you are new to my channel, um, home is for um, our new house that we'll be purchasing. And so we've been saving for the last couple of months 
to make sure we have our down payment set and then extra money towards other things. Um, we have our memberships at $2 and then my 30th birthday at $5 and that brings me to a total of $552. So we're going to go ahead and do the summary and we have expenses at $697, my cash at $170, my savings at 25 and then my sinking funds at 552 dollars which brings me to a total of 1444 dollars and that leaves me with a remainder of 174 dollars and 76 cents Okay, so you guys, this is just my budget. This is just what I originally planned out. If you've been watching my videos, you're like, Janelle, now we know you have some more expenses and I probably do or will do, but this is just my budget. So now we're going to go ahead and stuff my cashless cash envelopes and my savings and my sinking funds. So let me zoom back out and let me just go over some quick things if you are new to my channel so i have a cashless um, based system for my sinking funds and my cash envelopes i have a wells fargo account and that's my main um, account where all of my income goes and then i have a capital one account my checking account and savings account my checking account holds all of my cash envelopes that i would technically use on a daily basis and then my savings goes uh, my sinking funds goes into my savings account with capital one along with my savings account but my emergency fund goes into a separate credit union account that i share with my partner um and that's just because that emergency fund is going in to that savings account there so that is how i work my cashless um system and then with that being said i started using this app um called good budget I'm still like playing around with it and stuff like that, but it kind of looks like this if you guys haven't seen it before and what it allows me to do you guys is um, I have all of my cashless envelopes in here and then I'm able to just fill it up each time that it's time for me to put money in there. It also lets me see my transactions. So if I ever need to go back and look at something, I can always look at what date was this or whatever or did I put it into the wrong envelope um such as on the 21st I was looking at my cash as cash envelope and then also looking at my actual account and the monies were off and I realized that I forgot to actually transfer the money from my actual checking account to my savings from like two weeks ago for 17 cents. So this is very perfect for me. It goes from my iPad to my phone, like they both sync. So whenever I'm at the grocery store or something, I can always just pull it up. I always have my phone instead of having like to take out a piece of paper or my dividers that I used to have or anything like that to kind of see how much money I have. And I just don't use cash anymore. I loved using cash and sometimes I miss using cash, but I know it's not convenient for me, especially having to go to the, the bank my schedule just does not work with that. So we are going to be filling up our cash envelopes today. So I'll be showing you guys that in a second, but I do want to go over what I am doing for my cash list, um, what my actuals were. So for groceries, I am actually going to be putting $80 here. For gas, I decided that I want to go ahead and do $40. For household, I ended up, I'm going to put $10 in here. We are getting closer to our move-in date um and so i just want to make sure that i have a little bit of money in household to just start off with some regular household items like soap and dishwashing um well that's the same thing but like laundry soap and softener and all that stuff 
For personal, I budgeted 50 and we're gonna keep it at 50. And then for miscellaneous, I budgeted 10, but I am going to do 15. And that brings me to 195 for my cashless envelopes. So I am going to do this here, y'all. And um, I think I realized how to do this again, but we're gonna see. So, um, is it transactions? Nope, I think it's here. So we're going to do um, add income and we are going to add 195 and we're going to keep out, um, keep allocated. Wait, is it not letting me do that? No, we're gonna specify. And let's see. Nope, I don't think that was it, you guys. Let's go back for a second. We're going to go to envelopes and let's see. No, that's for groceries. Can we go here? And we're going to go add income. And we're going to do 195 and let's do that but it's not letting me save it let's see if it's because i didn't do that okay save so i have 195 dollars in unallocated so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here and i'm going to specify where i want all of this money to go so and i was doing this previously so i could make sure that i was doing it correctly you guys so um we're adding 80 dollars for groceries here so we're gonna do that. Then we have gas at 40. And some of these are our pre-budgeted, pre well, they already have pre-budgeted numbers in there that I would normally put, but if you wanted to change the amount, you just put the amount instead of doing like add budgeted amount. For household, I am actually going to add a specific amount and we are doing $10. And then we have personal, we're going to do 50. And then we have miscellaneous, which is going to be 15. And all of that, there's no more money left because it says add the remaining, which is zero. And then we're gonna go ahead and save that. And then we're gonna go back and then you'll see you guys that all of my money has been put into all of my um, cashless cash envelope. So it shows now that I should have 99.84 in my groceries and you'll see today is actually the 25th because we got paid early, but, um, you'll see that $80 were put, was put in today and this is just where I'm at and so forth. So all of my, um, envelopes are now filled. So that is perfect. You guys, and now we're going to go ahead and fill my sinking funds. Now, I would do my sinking funds on the good budget, but I don't because um, to get more envelopes, you would have to pay for it. And I'm on a budget, right? So that <laughs> wouldn't necessarily make sense for me. So um, um, we're going to go. We're not going to go that route right now. So for my car funds, um, nothing has changed here. Same thing for my car insurance. Same thing for my car maintenance. Same thing for clothes, for fun, for health, for holidays, for my home, for memberships, and then for my 30th birthday. So that is going to put us at 552. And then let's go ahead and, whoops, we're going to go ahead and fill those. Let me put this off to the other side. Oops. Okay. So we're going to start off with car fund. Today is the 25th. We have a deposit of a dollar and that puts us at $15 for my car fund. My goal really isn't to buy a car right now, so that's why I'm not putting a whole lot once I actually pay off my car and kind of get myself into a better space, get my emergency fund back up and stuff like that, then I will probably go ahead and start putting just a tad bit more money into there. So um, I think I zoomed in a little too much. Okay, so we have car insurance, 1125, this is a deposit. 
and that's going to be four dollars and that puts us at sixty dollars for car insurance we have car maintenance and that is going to be a deposit as well and we are doing fifteen dollars and let me take out my calculator and it's going to be 358 plus 15 is 373 for my car maintenance and then we have clothes which is also getting a deposit and that's going to be for ten dollars and that puts me at fifty dollars for clothes Am I always doing $10? Yes. Okay. And then for fun, we have another deposit. And we're putting $5 in for fun. So that puts me at $25. And this, you guys will see in 2021. Of course, I'll go back to like my regular or a new regular um, sinking funds total. I only stopped putting so much in sinking funds, once again, if you're new to my channel, because we started saving for our home. We have health, and that is going to get $20, and that puts me at $225 for health. Then we have holidays. And holidays is going to get $15. And we're going to calculate that. 441 plus 15 is 456. Okay. And then we have home. And that's going to get 475. And this is going to be 41. 77 plus 475 is $4,652. You guys, if anybody told me that I could save this much money from pretty much September, I would have been like, nope, you're lying. I could not do that. But I am so proud of myself. I really, really am. Uh, deposits. But I guess you save for what you want to save for also as well, too. But we have $30 in membership. And then we have my 30th birthday, which is going to get a deposit of $5. And that's going to put me at $90 for my 30th birthday. We have my emergency fund. So I am going to make a star next to this because I did not actually put $10 in my emergency fund because I ran out of money, um, literally. So um, I will be putting this $10 plus this $10 um, in here. So I should have 331 31 and I do need to make that here. So emergency fund is actually gonna get $20 and savings will get 15, which will actually put me at $35. Okay. Um, and then, um, like I was saying earlier, I forgot to put my week two rollover into my actual savings account, which was $17. And that's where I was getting the the differences in a number. So I did add that on the 20th and then we're going to add today that I am putting a deposit in for $15. So $275.84, $275.84 plus 15 equals $290.84. So really, really close. Next month I should be over that $300 mark. And then that is it, you guys. I actually filled up all of my cashless cash envelopes, sinking funds, and savings. So depending on if I have time or not, I am going to make sure that I go and take this $20 out of my account ASAP. <laughs> 
so that I can make sure that I don't miss out on putting money back into my account because that was a no-go. But this was my paycheck and my cashless cash stuffing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and please don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.